Hi everybody, good evening. Uh, my name is Natasha and I work for WWF Malaysia. I'm actually in the education team there. We have many, many teams. We have groups working on marine stuff, uh, freshwater, protected areas, markets transformation, a whole gamut of things. Um, so I work on education and I lead the university program in our education team. So what we do, yes, thank you. So my program is actually called Youth Empowerment for Sustainable Consumption and Production. Can you, can you Okay, um, next slide. Thank you. So this is the actual objective um, I have for my program, and that's creating the demonstrable improvements in the consumption practices of the individual, as well as the institution that we are involved with. And these improvements actually um, need to be in four focus areas. One of them is electricity, and the other three are actually what WWF calls, uh, WWF Malaysia calls their three priority commodities. Uh, WWF International has a program which they call <coughs> Market Transformation Initiative or MTI. We love these long names. <laughs> um, well, what it is is it actually tries, it, they've selected about 13 commodities globally which they feel um, they believe impact the environment the most. So, for example, soybean, cotton, um, and different countries will have different focuses. So, for example, in India, cotton would be one of their anti iron priority commodities. For Malaysia, um, these are the three pieces. Seafood, palm oil, and wood-based products. Okay? So, the theme that uh, my program is aligned to is the sustainable consumption and production theme. It's a philosophy um, which uh, tries to, where we try to think about where our stuff comes. I think exactly what the two speakers before me were talking about. Think about where your stuff comes from, think about how you use it, think about where it goes. Um, and SCP is actually a growing theme. I'd just like you to know that um, the United Nations has a 10-year framework plan on SCP, and it started only in 2015. So we're at the start of the journey uh, towards sustainable consumption and production. Um, also, a bit of fun fact, Malaysia has a sustainable consumption and production team uh, in the economic planning unit um, in the Prime Minister's Department, we did this, and we have um, the draft, we're just drafting an SCP blueprint with the assistance, all this is with the assistance of the European Union, and uh, the government has already trained uh, a whole lot of their procurement officers on this concept as well, so if you check out the Malaysian, 11th Malaysia plan, they talk about green growth, the green economy, this is part of that. Um, so this is the program, the framework, um, electricity, and the three party commodities. Okay, I think we skip. And these are the universities that I actually I mean, uh, have a relationship with, and, and we work in these campuses. So there, there's one in um, USM in Penang, in the engineering campus, uh, UTP, University of Technology, Petronas, uh, KYUEM, College of and UEM, used to be known as College of Science. So they, are, they, they mostly do preview courses uh, in Team International in Eli and Curtin University in Sarawak. So, um, aligned to these um, commodities, I, I thought I'd focus on this for you guys. The take home message is drop by the eco label. Now, WWF puts its name, its brand, behind these labels in particular for the commodities I mentioned. They're, they are by no means the only ones in the market. So, I think, one more? So for seafood, we have, can you go, go back up one, up one? Yeah, two, up, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, 
Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> seafood. There's these two very ident identical, almost identical looking um, labels. Can you tell me what you think is the difference between the two? What makes them? What's the... How do you differentiate? What? Yes. First one, doctor culture, and the second one is um, like fishing on the ocean. Yes, exactly. So the ASC, or Aquaculture Stewardship Council logo, or label, uh, tells you that the, the product that you got was from a farmed condition. So uh, I'll say to you, you know, kalau ASC ni untuk diternak. Huh? Okay. Uh, for MSC, for the Marine Stewardship Council, this is for products which are well caught, ditangkap. Yeah? So, uh, so, so you boleh beza kan? ASC untuk yang diternak, MSC untuk yang ditangkap. Boleh? Okay. Um, next. Alex. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so for wood-based products, this is the label that WWF promotes now. Um, WWF probably was... In, Either it was their brainchild, or they were part of the consortium that decided that this really is necessary. And so they were there at its inception and continued to work and involve uh, in the development of these eco-labels. So um, FSC is the label for um, wood-based products. You can find it on tissue paper, on plywood, um, printing paper, uh, your your packaging, your cardboard cereal boxes. And there's RSPO. Uh, the round table for sustainable power. FSC was Forest Stewardship Council, ASC was Aquaculture Stewardship Council, Marine Stewardship Council, and RSPO is round table on sustainable power. So um, this one is quite elusive in Malaysia, I have to say. I, you, you, I found it impossible to find a product that actually has it on the label, except in expatriate sort of supermarkets, if it's a product that's come from overseas. Um, imported products, they probably put the label for for, for Malaysians, uh, found that they, they think that we don't care. So this is why we're doing an educational program, like the one I'm doing, to create the consumer awareness, create the demand, because actually we have another team um, that I'm supporting, the, the MTI one, they're actually doing the dirty work I call, it, I call it the dirty work. Going behind the scenes, working with the plantations, working with the processes and with the producers, um, and to getting it out to the consumer. So um, they're actually doing the, the tinkering, the nitty gritty work, and so I'm trying to create the awareness um, so that when we do get a product out, which is ASC certified from Malaysia, uh, right now it's quite expensive because most of it's important important. So we're trying to work with local companies to get them certified so that it will then become hopefully affordable for us to for us Malaysians to buy into these labels. So um, yes, I hope you, you'll remember this at least um, at the end of my message. Um, okay, so some examples. This is a product from Denmark. Um, where is the label? Next. There. Okay. Next, for MSC, um, I have them here, so I'll pass them around to each one here. These were bought in Malaysia. Okay, next one. Okay, a box of toys with the FSC product, uh, label on the box. Next. And chips. Chips with the RSPO label. So these are the simple things that you can you can do. Uh, look for the labels, shop for the labels. Um, and if they're not there, ask. Please write letters, write the companies, ask why. Why do you say you buy RSPO oil and you use it in your products but you don't put it on the labels? At least not in my country. Okay? Um, now, selfish plug uh, for the rest of my minute. Um, in our education team, we work with a variety of uh, groups. Uh, one of the programs that we're very proud of is the Eco Schools program that we deliver in Malaysia. It's not ours, actually. We are merely the franchise holder of this program. It's actually uh, from Europe. It was advised in Europe. 
um, got very popular, people wanted it, they started spreading around the world. So now it's the largest sustainable schools initiative in the world. So we decided with our uh, network of other environmental NGOs that this is valuable for Malaysian schools and we want them to be able to, to go on, uh, adopt this program. And to be able to do that in a country, the um, foundation's rules was that you need a national operator. So we decided that we would be it. So if you have any schools that would like to um, join this program, please let me know. Uh, we have 100 over schools so far, and we've, um, next slide please. We've transplanted this eco school program. It's a whole organization, whole school transformation involving the principal to the gardener, the teachers, the students. We transplanted it also into every teacher, public teacher training college in Malaysia. There are 27 and they're all part of our program. Thank you.